What's going on everyone? This is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 6. I am starting today on top of that elevator that I showed you guys last episode and above my base obviously and look at this view from up here this is a bit terrifying actually i'm like hanging on with my toes here on this block but look at this view looking down at the bay you can see off to the top right there somebody's working on something there's a square i have no idea what that's going to be and who's working on that but just looking down at this bay has made me realize a few things here uh we came in day one on the server and we picked this bay because it is so beautiful, right? It is so beautiful. I'm going to come down here and we'll take a look at this. And I said, you know, I don't really have big plans for it, but I really liked the view of this bay and I wanted to do something eventually with it. And I think today is that eventually day because we haven't done anything. Like I've been inside, I've been off in the shopping district, I've been elsewhere uh, doing lots of different things and they've all been fun, but I've completely neglected the entire reason why I picked the location that I did. So today, guys, we are going to start to do some things in this bay. We're going to properly name it, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So stick around. Just outside the bay, there is a sunken ship underneath the water here, and I kind of feel bad for it. So I was thinking today what we might do is go down there, and we're going to bring it up to the surface. We're going to unsink the ship, if you will. So I'm going to get down there, and I think I'm going to go ahead and tear it apart, and then rebuild it basically in the bay. We're going to give it a home. Well, there we go. The ship has been removed, and oh! I got somebody throwing tridents at me. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got to go after him. Uh, let's see if we can get one. Oh my gosh. I rarely get to see these guys with actual tridents. Let's see. I know. Uh, does Tango have all the guys he needs? I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to kill this guy because I want your trident, buddy. Come on, give it to me. <gasps> Oh, gave me a, a drown head though. Okay, that's cool. I'll take that. But yeah, we've removed the boat now and it's over here actually. I'm going to swim over here. Uh, we better go up before I run out of bubbles there and drown. Uh, but I put all the wood and planks and stairs and everything from the boat in this chest. So if you've ever been curious about what blocks it takes to make one of those underwater sunken ships, there it is. That's what it's comprised of. So now I need to take all these and we're going to reconstruct that boat uh, I think right about there all right there we go this is coming along I've got the shell of the ship now done I need to do the mast next there's a few of them actually and the inside as well is is a uh, hollow still so we're gonna have to do the inside let me see if I can get an aerial view of this Ooh, as we come in <laughs> I need to get a little slow falling or something to give you guys a decent view. But there we go. You can see the ship inside is hollow. Like I said, had a bed out here so I could sleep at night while I'm building. So I don't have to worry about phantoms or anything attacking me. But yeah, this is coming along. It's not exactly like the one underground. I took a few creative liberties. In fact, I've been meaning to do that. I think that's going to look a little bit better. And if we put one over on this side to match, that'll look good. Uh, I may do some like railing up here too. Like I said, I'm taking a few creative liberties with this. I don't need it to be exactly like the one that was underwater, but I do want it to look semi good and professional here. But next I will put the masts on and uh, then I guess we'll do the interior of it. There we go, looking pretty good. I got the masts in. Uh, most of the interior is done here. I got a little bit more to do. Like I want to do a ladder I think down into this little area under here. Uh, we have some step down into this area. There's like this little chamber right here. Not the same as the one that was underwater, but like I said, I took some creative liberties and uh, there's one last thing I wanted to try these holes right here these are supposed to be for the cannons right so I was kind of wondering what would it look like if I pointed hoppers out would it kind of look like there was cannons I have no idea if this is gonna look good or if it's just gonna look like you know poop or something <laughs> but let's find out here let's go on the outside take away that dirt that I had to put there so that I could face those hoppers actually hmm I think it looks kind of good. What do you guys think? I don't like that you can see through. We might want to put something behind the hoppers because you can kind of see through to the other side. Oh, by the way, I can zoom in now because Optifine, uh, at least the pre-release for 1.13.1 is out. And I went ahead and am using that now. Uh, I, I really like using Optifine. It seems like it takes a lot of the lag of the way uh, away from the game and things like that. But uh, yeah, we'll go to this other side too. It is kind of a 
difficult task to get in and out of this boat. I've been having to like, yeah, there we go, take off from the water and then kind of fly around <laughs> and then fly into the boat. All right, so let's see here. What can we put? Uh, I don't know that I want to actually put anything behind these. We may just have to deal with it because if we put a block behind these, it's kind of in the way. So I think we'll leave it like that. I think what I'm going to do is leave the ship kind of like... Uh, you know, we'll just let it kind of evolve over time. It definitely needs some sails, and I don't even know if I want to keep the jungle uh, logs there because I don't think they look that great. I think they looked okay underwater. It made kind of sense, uh, but above water, we may want uh, a cleaner looking wood and definitely some sails, and maybe at some point, I'll have Cleo come in and we'll get like a, a crew aboard the ship, and I think we need a dock as well maybe coming out. All sorts of stuff that we can do now in the future, but we're going to let this just kind of grow in and breathe over time, I think, uh, because I got some other things I want to do in this bay to liven it up a bit. So one thing I like to do when I'm coming to my base from the overworld here is I like to fly into that little area right there, that little entrance that we have. I like flying in there, but it's kind of dangerous. And so what I like to do is hit the water and then hit my face on the <laughs> side. And yeah, you see it's very dangerous. But if I was to fly through like a water curtain, I think that would slow us down enough. Um, I just barely, you know, went through the edge of this water, which is why I still took damage. But uh, I, I kind of want to take down this. This this is to uh, keep all the mobs out, but I really haven't had any mob problems, to be honest, around here. And I think what I'll do instead is I will maybe move that. I'll, I'll either move it or just expand upon it. So we have that water coming down. If we had water just kind of coming down over this ledge here... Um, then flowing down. I think that would flow right over this entrance here, and that could end up looking pretty good and being pretty functional so that we can fly through a nice little water curtain into our base, and we don't have to worry about getting so much damage when we come in. So yeah, let's put a little water in, see how that looks. All right, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Now let's see if it's functional here. If we can fly through, see, I hit my head on the top there and didn't even get hurt. The water helped us. Uh, and I think we might want to now get rid of some of this here and let that water flow down a little more naturally so we can take out these blocks. That should be good. And there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put some here back in there. Okay, good. And maybe take out this one. Yeah, that'll do. All right, let's go take another look from maybe a little further away. Actually, let's, let's go ahead. Let's get in the boat. That was weird. <laughs> boat kind of glitched a little bit. All right, let's head out here. There we go. Now we got the waterfall coming down. It looks a lot better. Yeah, there's like three water sources that kind of combine to completely cover the entrance there. I suppose I could put some lighting behind the actual doorway, and it'll be a lot easier to see as I come in. But yeah, I like it. I, I like it a lot. Nice cover of the entrance. And I think it will also help keep mobs out if there was any mobs that did spawn on the area and tried to find their way inside of my base. Uh, the water curtain, I think they would just like float up and not actually make it in for the most part. But yeah, that works out really good. So let's see if we can fly in from here. Come on, rockets, don't fail me now. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, that was a little little too hot. Okay. Well, okay. I think it did save my life a little bit. Oh, I'm having the hardest time flying today. It's just going absolutely nuts. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, let's go ahead and clean this up, too. Ah, there we go. That is much better. I've been meaning to do that for so long. <laughs> we don't get to see that eyesore of a hallway anymore. That is great. Uh, but I do still need a way to get back there just to be able to check on things. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a little secret entrance to this place uh, right behind here. So we'll use our bubble column elevator to get to it. So the first thing I need to do is actually buh, not go up the elevator. That was... <laughs> He almost went up. All right, I think I need to bust some of these bricks out, and I think it'll be that one, that one, and I'll do one more. Okay, that almost took me into it. Um, and then what I can do is I'll have to block it off on the other side, decorate it up. I kind of want it to be semi-hidden as well. And then what we can do is let's see if this works here. So first I'll fall down here, and we'll go right back in here. And then instead of pressing back, I'll press forwards, and then hopefully, yes, okay, there. So if I want to get in, I'll just press forward to get in that way. Uh, I'll need to block off the water here, and then we can go through this way here. Let me put a torch. Uh, yeah, definitely need to block off the water. And then I can make my way behind that deal we just put in, which is right 
back here. Perfect. Okay, it is one level down, so maybe I actually want to remove that brick instead. Okay. All right, let me clean things up and we'll see how this works out. All right, there we go. I think I have it in there and it looks pretty hidden. It's a nice hidden entrance. You can't really tell it's there. Now, you can't walk straight through because the bubbles will grab you quick enough that you'll go up. <laughs> uh, so instead, what we do is now I kind of have like a, a direction chooser. When I come into here, if I just keep pressing forward then I can go into there so I can get there from my base here and like like you saw you can hardly see it which is great and this is back here and I can check on this guy and make sure he's still planting crops and and giving them to these guys for breeding and stuff which it does look like he's been doing stuff anyway and I know I've been getting some villagers so that's good oh this guy's still alive that's awesome to see let's see I kept him because of Yep, he's my backup mending guy. 16 on this one. Not the greatest, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's that's great. I don't, Oh, yeah, that's from the back of that wall. <laughs> I was like, what is that area? Uh, so, yeah, now to get back through, of course, we got to go through this top here. This is going to shoot us back out into the bay, and that is fine because I want to take another look at it and see if we get inspired to do something else to liven things up down there. This is such a big... <laughs> Thing here. I think I'm probably going to bring this down a little bit. Uh, it was fun, but it's definitely a big eyesore here. So let's go floating out here, and we'll turn around, take a look at the bay. Yeah. Oh, look at that ship in there. This is looking awesome. This is great. Okay, so let's go back out here. And then let's see what we see here. Um, so, yeah, the bay is definitely coming along. It's looking a little more lively now, but... I think it's missing something. There is nothing in here that really tells people that this is mine, that this is Impulse's Bay. And I think we should put up a bit of a sign or something so that there's no doubt when people fly into here that this place is mine. So yeah, I got an idea. I'm sure you guys saw that one coming. <laughs> yep, definitely no way now people are going to not know whose bay this is. Uh, but looking at it, uh, we definitely need to do some more connections here because we have the entrance to the base there behind that waterfall. And then we also have this ship that's just kind of sitting there and there's no way to get on or off the ship. So I was kind of looking at this thinking it might be nice to have a bit of a like bridge walkway kind of going all the way around that would allow you to get uh, to my base there. We'll have to figure out what to do with the waterfall at that point. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll just have a gap or something. We'll see. And then kind of go all the way around here. So I think I'm going to go grab some oak and some planks and all that kind of stuff. And we can put in a little bridge of some sort. All right, there we go. The walkway is now in. It definitely feels a little more connected. You can see I did the stripped oak logs, kind of anchoring them into the ground there. And I started to play around with the mast a little bit because I really didn't like the look of that jungle wood. So you can see all I did here was to basically just stripped it. And I think that looks better. But the more I look at this, the more it's bugging me that it doesn't actually have sails on it. So you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and try to put some sails on these things. And I think it's going to look 10 times better. Yep, that is exactly what it needed. The sails are now on. And I did an okay job with it. It's a little tough when you got such a small size ship to work with and full size blocks that you got to use. But uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Of course, uh, we could do a few more details. I've seen you know like pictures on Google and stuff where it kind of connects these guys together all the way down to the front we could do that as well um, yeah I'm gonna hold off on that I think it's fine for now but what I do want to do is I want to head over and put in an order at Clio's shop because I think it would be really cool let's see if we can get down there I think it'd be really cool to if you know have like a an active crew that's maybe like in here unloading cargo off the ship or something onto the dock. Uh, I don't know, you know, just kind of make this thing a little more vibrant here. But yeah, I really like the way this turned out and the bay is coming along. It's a good start anyway. It's it's definitely a good start. It's something. It's a little, a little better than having nothing in here, which is how we started the day, if you remember. So yeah, let me head over to Cleo's now and we'll put in a custom order. What is this? I steal? Really? What? Come on. Uh, I think this was Tango or some masked man that sort of looked like 
Tango under the mask. Um, by the way, uh, the live stream happened today. I'm recording the day of the live stream after uh, our bit. Tango and I did a little underground thingy over there. If you saw the live stream, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Going to be a lot more on that later, of course. But uh, this is looking good. Somebody went through here and finally kind of decorated this area because this has been just an eyesore and a half outside of eye trade. Uh, I steal. Come on. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to have to fix this. Free lighting for this district is apparently uh, in the box now outside of my store, which is great. Oh, and we connect right up to the ink shop. Okay, this is cool. Got green right out here with spaghetti arms. And the portal looks much better. It's nice and wide now, and you can walk right through it. Um, so that's nice. Let's go check on the gold shop as well. Did we get vandalized? Welcome to Utterly Useless Eye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> We're going to have to fix this. I don't even remember what it said before. Was it just welcome to... To uh, welcome to uh, what would we call this place? Golden Eye, right? Yeah, Golden Eye, of course. Golden Eye. Got to fix that. Sure. For all your gold needs, do. Oh, we got some more sales. Sweet. Yeah, we might as well go through here and check. Still a lot. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's slowing down. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We could fix this. Very nice. I'm glad I stumbled across that. Okay. So we got to go up and fix the banner now. Did we sold any carrots? Yes. Look at this. People are buying up the golden carrots. You know what? I think I'm gonna take a stack for myself. Uh, I don't think I need to pay myself, do I, to buy my own carrots? No. Uh, but <laughs> let me fix these banners, and then we actually will make our way over to Cleo's shop. All right, so here is Cleo's shop now, and oh, do you need an action sequence? Look at this. We got <laughs> this guy with a pumpkin head shooting. We got airborne arrows. Gonna hit this guy in the, you know what? And <laughs> with a chicken head, this is great. You can see they're just armor stands, basically. Uh, and in some cases, they're invisible armor stands, which is why I think this arrow is in the air like that. Uh, same thing here. It looks like uh, we can fill shelves up with stuff. I mean, there's all sorts of cool things you can do with these armor stands. I got a, a murder to solve and a subsequent haunting. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, how cool is that? Uh, so, yeah, basically, the system here is we leave our order in a book and then once the job is done we pay what we feel is fair and if there's any accent materials I'm guessing like if you want diamonds and stuff to be in the scene uh, she's not going to provide that so that makes sense so okay let's go ahead and uh, put an order in here I wish I'd given this a little more thought before we got here so need uh, let's see um, a crew for the pirate, is it a pirate ship? Is it a pirate ship? I guess it would just be, I don't know, for the the sailboat? Uh, okay, I, I don't wanna call it a pirate ship because then everything's gonna be piratey and I don't think that's really it. We have our own pirate like district, so we gotta stay away from that. Uh, need a crew for the sailboat at um, the, oh, Bay, um, hmm, Bay of Impulse. We decided not to name it that. I think I might have a better name. Uh, so and I'll just say it for now. Uh, the Bay by Impulses. Eh? Eh? Got to get those. Got to get that in there, right? <laughs> Impulses base. And um, okay, I'll just talk to her in person. Please speak to Impulse for details. I always feel weird leaving the name lowercase like that, but we gotta have the I, right? <laughs> All right, so I'll just do that. I'll leave it like that. I'll talk to her in person, give her a much better idea than I could in a book. But we've put in the order now, and we've got correct you know, punctuation and everything in there, so that's good. <laughs> Anyway, the shopping district is coming along. It is coming along everywhere I look. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's so amazing in the background. Now that I have Optifine, I can see that far. That's great. Oh my goodness. Yes, this place, Scar's tree. Like, seriously? He's working on it now. Look at him go. Spoilers, I'm sure. Exclusive previews, although he was doing it on stream, so I don't feel bad. But look at the rain. Like, just think about how much time that must have taken just to put in those glass panes one by one to make it look like it was raining on this tree that's frozen and getting icicles. And, oh, my gosh. So good, Scar. 
You were so good. You are an amazing builder. Uh, anyway, okay. Well, I'm gonna head back to the bay now uh, because, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about what we could call the bay itself. I gotta tell you, this horse's legs must get tired because every time I come in here, he is just bouncing up and down just like that. <laughs> He's got to be so tired. I think he's trying to get out or something. These are half slabs, so it's, it's all weird for him. But it's just hilarious to watch. All right, we are back here at the bay. And I got to say, I'm going to start rhyming today. Um, <laughs> this, we have made some progress. This is uh, It's a good start. I'm going to say that. It's a good start because I got a lot more planned for this place. And I think it's gonna look really cool when Cleo comes in here and does her thing with the crew on the boat. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just a start. But now that we are focusing a little of our attention on the bay itself, uh, let's give it a proper name. And I remember back when we, uh, when I first showed this bay off, I said, you know, we need to come up with a decent name. There was one comment that stuck for me, and that is, of course, iBay. <laughs> We're gonna call it iBay. Because it fits everything else we've been doing. Plus, think about it a little bit. Everybody knows about eBay. So it's got that going for it as well, right? Uh, so yeah, we're going to call it iBay. It's nice and simple and got a little funny uh, little context behind it as well. So this is now iBay. That's the official name. And obviously the big I in the middle of it. Yeah, definitely makes sure everybody knows that's what it is. So anyway, that is a done deal. Uh, we're going to leave this be for now. I'm sure there's going to be an episode coming soon uh, where Cleo and I get together and talk about what's going on here and get to show that off. So get to look forward to that. Uh, but before we end the episode today, I want to head back to the patron monument and we're going to get a few more patrons going on that. And there they are. Got six new ones in today and we'll run through it real quick. So the chronological order of these aren't exactly perfect. We had some name submissions come in after I had started uh, that were from some long timers like Andrew R73 here since 2014. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I did switch the armor. You guys had some suggestions that uh, iron should be the, the 5 plus tier and gold should be the 10 plus and then diamond will be the 20 plus. So thanks for that. I switched things around and it's looking pretty good. Uh, so thank you, Andrew there. We got Kimmy next. Been around since 2015. Kimmy's looking good. We got Accidentally Leslie, patron since 2016, February 17th. And Eagle Fam, of course, you guys have seen Eagle Fam's name thrown around quite a bit because she's been a huge supporter uh, of all the hermits. She's amazing. And uh, she's been around on Patreon since 2016 as well. Heroed, one of my mods. And then we have Aaliyah, another one of my mods uh, that have been around for quite some time and are amazing people. So there we go. They are in. You can see all their goofy poses. <laughs> I try to do different ones for every single one of them. Oh, also, you guys told me I should do the nudging thing or the rotation thing to kind of turn them in. Inwards. And so I've been doing that. These ones are already facing straight, but uh, these corner ones we kind of turned a little bit to face towards the center of the room. So that was a very good suggestion. Thanks for that. In fact, we could probably turn him a little bit as well. Uh, let's see. Ah, it's always tough to get the right. There we go. Uh, so we'll just do that real quick. We can nudge him to the that direction. Uh, probably do. I don't want to go full 45. Do I? No, that's too much. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, so we'll send him back that way just a little bit. Are you going? Didn't seem to do much. <laughs> okay, five degrees at a time takes a while. Um, that's probably good. I may need to do a little bit more, but that's okay. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's that. All right, they're looking good. And oh, we got to do this one more time before it gets too dark and I get attacked here. I will send them back down. Oh, man, I just love it. I just love it. Somebody also mentioned that the uh, lighting update should subdue a little bit when we finally get a ceiling on this thing. So uh, hopefully that is correct. But here we go. Oh, yeah, they look so much better when they pop up with heads and armor and stuff on than just the uh, bare stand. So that's great. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.